Hi, I'm Yu Xuanxue, and I'm excited to present our ICCV paper NSF, Neural Surface Fields for Human Modeling from Monocular Depths. This is a joint work with amazing collaborators from University of Tübingen, Tübingen AI Center, MPL Informatics, and Meta Reality Labs. Given a set of monocular depth frames, our NSF learns a human model which can be used to complete a partial depth point cloud or to be used to reanimate with their direct poses. Moreover, NSF also can transfer texture from RGB images if they are available. In prior related works, people use a body template and add vertex displacement to model the closed deformation. Their obtained models will enjoy a coherent topology, which would be good for sharing properties like textures and rigging systems, making them also easy to incorporate in computer graphics pipelines. However, their discretization is not flexible, properties are defined only on vertices, which limits their scalability. To overcome these limitations, implicit-based methods are proposed to learn a common representation that does not rely on the explicit surface, for example on occupancy or distance functions. These representations are continuous and not limited to single discretization. However, extracting a mesh from them is a slow process. It requires running the marching cube algorithm for each single frame, which is impractical and does not produce consistent topology across all frames. We can see that aforementioned representations are complementary. Our motivation is to combine the advantages of mesh-based methods and implicit-based methods. The key insight of NSF is to define the neural field solely on the surface. In this case, we will still enjoy the connectivity and the coherency of the mesh surface. Once trained, our NSF can generalize the surfaces with arbitrary resolution and topology without retraining. How do we utilize NSF to model human? The first question is how to obtain the surface to define NSF. We use iterative root finding to canonicalize input depth point clouds, and then we use a neural network to model the complete canonical shape implicitly using distance field. After we have in the implicit canonical shape, we can define the neural surface field on top of it. Here we build a neural surface deformation field which predicts a post-dependent deformation on the surface. After training, our NSF can reconstruct meshes at arbitrary resolution with temporal consistency. Here is the full pipeline. We start from canonicalizing points, learn the implicit fusion shape, define the neural surface field, learn surface deformation, and reposing to provide the cycle consistency self-supervision. Please come to our poster for detailed information. We first show the reconstruction results, namely the partial shape completion from monocular depth view. Here we show the reanimation of the learned subjects with desired pose sequences. Here we show the reconstruction result comparison between our NSF and competitors. It shows that our approach achieves state-of-the-art performance on buff dataset. In addition to accuracy, our method has features that are not possible in baselines. Compared to mesh-based baselines, our NSF is continuous and is flexible to reconstruct meshes with aperture resolution and topology. Compared to implicit-based baselines, we only extract the surface once and thus eliminate the need of marching cubes or poison reconstruction for each single frame, which is very practical in application. Besides, NSF reconstructs the temporal consistent meshes, it enables the texture transfer and mesh editing. For example, we can transfer the upper body texture from the source to target easily. We propose NSF, a hybrid representation which is more efficient than existing representations. In human modeling, NSF is faster and keeps coherency compared to implicit-based works. It is also continuous and flexible compared to mesh-based works. We believe this hybrid representation can have a variety of useful downstream applications and contribute further to the community. 
For more details and results, please refer to our paper and the project website. If you have any questions and suggestions, I warmly welcome you to our poster session on Thursday, 5th of October.